What's up guys, welcome back to the Animarium. Previously I made a video about an app called Tachiyomi. In that video I talked about its basic features and how to use it for reading manga, manhua and manhua. In today's video I will be going into the details of Tachiyomi including all of its settings and the features available on Android. Watch the video till the end to learn about the amazing features this app has to offer. And now here comes the intro. When you open the app, the first section you will see is the library. This area shows all the titles that the users have added to the library. As for how to do it, watch my previous video about the basic features of Tachiyomi. The link for that will be in the description or you can click on the video title showing up in the top right corner. Coming back to the topic, the library section holds all the titles in your collection. By clicking on this button right next to the search button, you can change how the titles are showing in the library. As you can see there are three filters here named downloaded, unread and completed. These filters do just as their name implies. For example, by selecting the downloaded option, only those titles can be seen in the library which have one or more chapters downloaded. By selecting it again, the icon changes into a cross. This means that any title whose chapters have been downloaded will not show in the library. The same goes for the other two options. Now we come to sort. This option allows the users to change how the titles are listed in the library. These can be arranged according to the options available below. Next is the display. This further gives us the options to view the titles as a list or in a grid. You can also change what kind of badges you want to see on your collection like the unread or the download badge. Here we also have the option to enable or disable the show category tabs. As for what the category tabs are, I will explain about this later on in the video. Next button we have is the refresh button. When you click on this button, it will refresh the library and show the latest chapters available. The updates and the history section do not need any explanation as they do what their names imply. After this is the browse section. As I told in the previous video, browse contains three subsections called sources, extensions and migrate. The sources section will list the extensions that have been installed in Tachiyomi. It also allows you to pin your favorite extensions to the top. Another feature of this subsection is that by clicking on any extension you will be directed to the list of all the manga, manhua and the manhua present on that extension. On this page you can directly apply the filters to the list or you can search for any manga that you want to. At the top you can find the search option along with the view and the web view option. The view option allows you to change how the titles are listed here and the web view allows you to directly go to the website of this extension if you want to. Coming back to the browse section, the next subsection we have is the extensions. This is the area where all the extensions are listed which can be installed or in uninstalled whenever you want. The final subsection in browse is migrate. It allows you to migrate any titles in your library from one extension to another. It's quite a handy feature. For example, imagine that the manga you are reading from a particular website does not update its chapters as fast as done by another one. It's quite troublesome to go to the other extension, look for the manga and add it to the library and then mark the chapters that you have already read. Migrate simplifies this and makes it easy to do. All you have to do is go to migrate, click on the extension from where you want to shift your manga from. It will show you the titles present in your library from that extension. Now click on the manga that you want to migrate. It will start searching the other extensions that you have installed and when it finds the manga on another extension, just click on that manga and here you can also select what kind of data you want to take with the manga. You can either copy the manga or migrate it. Copying will add two manga of the same name to your library and migrate will shift the manga from one extension to the other. Now it's time to explain the settings of Tachiyomi which can be found in the more section. The first is downloaded only option. Enable this and you will only see those titles in the library which have one or more chapters downloaded. Next is the incognito mode. This will pause all the history as long as it is enabled. After this we have the download queue. This will show all the chapters that you have put to download. Here you can pause and resume the chapters whenever you want. 
Coming up next is the categories. This allows us to add extra lists in the library. For example, you find a manga that you read earlier and liked it but cannot recall its name. To solve this problem, you can just make another list in the library and name it something like favorite. Then add the manga to this list. These can be renamed at any time. After the categories, we have the settings about and help. Clicking on help will take you to the help center of Tachiyomi. About includes information about the app and also allows you to check for the updates. Finally, we are at the last part of the tutorial and this is also going to be the biggest. The first one we have here is the general settings. Here, starting from the top, we have start screen. In start screen, you can select which section will be displayed each time you open Tachiyomi. Next is confirm exit, enabling which will ask for confirmation when you try to close the app. Hide bottom bar on scroll. It does exactly what it means. Manage notifications allows you to select which type of notifications you want to see. The next three options are for theme, where you can enable or disable the dark mode. Then we have the language and the date format option. This is it for the general settings. The second is the library settings. Here, items per row allows you to set the number of titles you want to see on the screen in portrait and landscape mode in the library. Jump to chapters on open. It's an option enabling which will send you directly to the list of chapters when you click on any title in the library. Next two options are for categories, where you can edit the categories and also choose the default category which will be shown when you open Tachiyomi. The rest of the options in the library are all for updating the chapters. You can set the frequency of the update process, add restriction to it, select the categories which you want to update, set the order in which the update occurs, etc. The next setting we have is reader setting. In the reader setting, the first one we have is the default reading mode. This option allows you to change how the pages of the chapters that you are reading will transition from one to the next. My personal favorite is the continuous vertical as it allows you to read the pages in succession vertically by scrolling down. The second option allows you to set the double tap animation speeds. You can either select no animation, keep it normal or make it fast. Next is the show reading mode. Enabling this one will allow you to see the current reading mode when the reader is opened. Next is the 32-bit color option. This option reduces the banding, but if your device is not powerful, it will reduce the performance. I would suggest keeping it disabled. After this, we have the animate page transitions. This will do exactly as it sounds. Next is the display option. Here you can change the rotation, background color, keep the screen on while you are reading and show the page number on which you are currently at. Now next after the display, we have reading options. Enabling the first option will skip any chapter which has been marked as read when the previous chapter is completed. You can also skip the filtered chapters and also enable or disable the always showed chapter transition. The next is paged. This option allows you to set the scales in these six different ways. Set the location where the zooming of the screen will take you or you can crop the borders by enabling the last option. The next two options are for webtoons where you can change the percentage of the side paddings and crop the borders. The final option in the reader setting is navigation where you can enable or disable the tapping which allows you to go to the next page by tapping on the current page. You can also invert the tapping, enable or disable the long tab dialog or use the volume keys for navigation. This concludes the reader settings. Next is the download settings. These are the options available in downloads. Basically, this setting allows you to set the download location, set how the chapters get deleted after reading and automatically download new chapters. Next setting is the tracking. Here you can make an account on one of the following sites and keep the track of the titles that you have read along with its number of chapters that have been read. Then we come to the browse setting. Here you have the setting where you can check for extension updates, global search or whether or not you want to see or mark the extensions with mature content in the browse section of the app. The next setting is backup. In this setting, you can create a backup of your library in the form of a backup file or restore the backup from the said file in another device. Automatic backups can also be set up in this setting. The next option is the security. This option does not need any explanation so I will move on to the next one that comes after it and that is the advanced. Here you can send crash reports, disable the battery optimization, clear cache, data, history or cookies. You can also refresh the manga covers in the library or refresh the tracking. 
This concludes the setting of Tachiyomi. This app is filled with features that are really helpful for those who love reading manga, manhua and manhwa. I hope this video helps you guys to learn about Tachiyomi. I'll be back with another video in the future. Till then, take care and stay healthy. I'll see you next time.